Hello, second grade. Today we are going to be learning about telling time. And I know that that is something that is different than what you're working on in class right now, but I know it's something important that we all need to learn or review. So first you need to grab out a whiteboard and your marker and an eraser. So that way you can work while I ask you questions in this video. While you're getting those tools out, today we're going to be able to say at the end of the lesson that I can tell time to the nearest 15 minutes. So let's get started on learning about telling time. There are several different types of clocks. Hmm, what do you notice that's different about these clocks versus this clock? I notice that this clock has numbers and words, and this one just has numbers. What else do you notice? I notice that this one tells me the temperature outside. It says 60 degrees Fahrenheit, and there are three alarm set. This one also has an alarm set. So we can see that digital clocks have a lot of information on them. Some do, some just tell the time. Maybe you have a smart watch that you can text on or play games on. Those are digital clocks. Then our analog clock, how many hands do you notice on our analog clock? I'm not talking about hands like your hands. On a clock, we call these the hands. So this is the hour hand, this is the minute hand, and this is the second hand. So you can see here on my clock that I'm gonna show you today, we have the minute hand, which is the long hand, the hour hand, which is the short hand. And I didn't put the second hand on here today, but the second hand goes around the clock each minute. When we write hours and minutes the digital way, we put hours first and then minutes. So what time is it right now? The hour hand looks at the hours, which are these numbers on the inside. So what's the hour hand pointing to? It's pointing to three. <clears throat> and when the minute hand is pointing up, <clears throat> it is o'clock. So we have three o'clock. The hour is three and there hasn't been any minutes yet. Now let's work on telling time to the nearest hour. One hour is 60 minutes. It's the same thing. When we have 60 minutes, so when we look at this clock that I have right here, if we start at three o'clock and we go all the way around, And when we get to the top, that was 60 minutes or one hour. <clears throat> I want you to look at this clock and think, what time is it? You can write it on your whiteboard if you know. Remember, this is the hour hand and we're looking at the minutes or the hours written on the inside of the clock. It is two o'clock. We're just looking at the hour hand right now. Let's try another one. What time is it now? You can write what you think on your whiteboard. Where is the hour hand pointing? It is eight o'clock. What time is it now? Write it on your whiteboard. Where is the hour hand pointing? 
It is six o'clock. Now let's see if we can work on telling time to the nearest half hour. A half hour is 30 minutes. So in our whole clock, if we cut it in half, there's 30 minutes on one side and 30 minutes on the other. Let's first look at our clock. So can you count by five? When we look at our clock, these are the numbers that tell us what hour it is. We just looked at that. Now, around the outside of the clock, I'm going to put numbers to show you the minutes. Now, these aren't on most clocks, but they are on the clock in our classroom. So, we start at o'clock, zero, zero. So, this right now says three o'clock. Now, can you count by five? We go zero, five. What comes next? Ten. Count with me, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. And once you get to the top, that has been 60 minutes. Now let's use this. So when I'm looking at this clock, we have our hour hand on and our minute hand, we're looking at the blue numbers on the outside. So this time shows three o'clock. Now we're gonna look at the half hour. So when the minute hand is pointed down at the six, it is 30. So we know that the hour is in three and it is 3.30. Now I wanna show you something else. So you can see here that when I have, <clears throat> sorry if this is backwards for you, when it is three o'clock, okay, the hour hand is right on the three. But as I go around, my minute hand's moving, but what is my hour hand doing? It's moving too. So as I keep going, whoop, when we get to three, 30, the hour hand has moved about halfway between three and four. And as we get closer and closer to four o'clock, the hour hand gets closer and closer. So it's not four o'clock yet. It's not quite on the four yet. It's still three. And then we'll keep going. And then we are at four. So when that hour hand moves, make sure you're looking at what time it is. So let's look at this one. We have our hour hand is on 10. Where is our minute hand again? Can you write it down? 10.30. Let's try another one. First, look where the hour hand is. What is that pointing to? And then where is our minute hand? 7.30. Let's try another one. Where is that hour hand pointing? Write it down on your whiteboard. It is 1.30. So you can see here, our hour hand isn't perfectly on one, but it's not to two yet either. So it's still the hour of one o'clock. Just 30 minutes have passed. Now let's work on telling time to the nearest 15 minutes. If we cut our clock in half, 
and then half again, it is in four quarters. So we have 15 minutes plus 15 minutes is 30. And then another 15 minutes plus 15 minutes is 30 for a whole hour with four quarters of 15. As you can see on the clock here, I have put a star next to our 15, our 30, our 45, and our O clock. Those are our 15 minute increments on the clock. This clock shows three o'clock. Now if we move 15 minutes, we're at 315. Do you see how our hour hand moved a little bit? Watch that hour hand. It moved a little bit too. So our minute hand went from o'clock to 15 and our hour hand is still on three. Let's go 15 more minutes. Now we are at 3.30. Our hour hand is still on three and our minute hand is pointing down at the 30. Let's go 15 more minutes. Now we are at 345. Our minute hand is pointed to the 45 and our hour is almost on four, but it's still in the three. Now let's practice on your own. Oh, I missed the last one, four o'clock. And now our hour hand is on four and our minute hand is back to a clock. We just went a full hour. Now let's practice. So make sure you've got your whiteboard and your marker ready. What time is it? Go ahead and write that down. We're looking at the hour and the minutes. It is seven o'clock. What time is it now? We're looking at the hour and the minutes. It is 9.15. What time is it now? Write this on your boards. It is 4.45. What time is it now? It is 12.30. Now, second grade friends, it is time for you to practice this on your own. Activity time. Your activity that you have today is tick-tock. Tick-tock, color code the clock. You will pick two crayon colors. One color will show hours on the clock and the other will show the minutes. So circle hours with the colors you choose. So if I want to color all the hours red, like I did on my clock, I will circle hours with a red crayon. And then I'm going to color the inside numbers of the clock, those are our hours, red. Then circle minutes with the color you choose and color the minutes on the clock and the minute hand. So I'm gonna color, circle minutes blue and our long hand is the minute hand. I'm gonna color that blue and then I'll color our outside numbers blue for the minutes. Then if you have time on the back, I want you to look at the clock and write in those times. Remember to post to seesaw when you're done. And if you forgot how, these are the steps. I can't wait to see your hard work.